going on guys, Kids of Madness 245 here with another video. So I'm going to review the friendly which happened earlier between Leicester and Celtic at Celtic Park. 1-1 one, one off after full time Leicester winning 6-5 on penalties. It was a good game. Celtic really, really put in a good show. I thought, thought we did well to take Leicester two pens. Dane Suarez missing and then Leicester scoring afterwards to win the game. But it doesn't really matter. It's just a pre-season friendly but Thought so to play really, really well. So yeah, so Grippis had a chance. It was comfortably saved after a mistake by Leicester defence. Dembele had an effort which was saved inside the box after he'd held off Morgan and a few defenders, and it was a good save by the goalkeeper. Mares, who was dangerous throughout, gave his gear away all sorts of problems, and O'Connell as well. He had an effort which went just wide after cutting inside to Celtic Honduran left back. Griffiths then had an effort which was tipped away by the goalkeeper. That was really unlucky. Really, really good hit from Griffiths edge of the box after Dembele had been fouled. And that was really the action of the first half. So it was really, really even. Celtic had a little bit more possession, but no team was really, really dominating. Then the second half begins and Mara scored an absolute wonder goal. Is Aguirre and O'Connell did the wrong thing there, mate. They Forced him onto his left hand side, which is his stronger foot, and he curled a really, really good shot into the top right hand corner of the net past Craig Gordon. There's nothing that the ex Sunderland man could do anything about it, and it was 1 0 to the Premier League champions. And then Celtic equalised a few minutes afterwards. Owen O'Connell made up for a, the mistake that allowed Morris to score with a goal of his own, which is a really, really good finish. Leicester managed to get the ball away, but it came to the youngster, the young youngster outside the box, the ex Oldham Athletic man, and he placed it by hitting the ball into in off the post, and it went past Schmeichel, who came on the second half, and it went into the net, and it was one-one. And really, Celtic had more possession; they were more dominant with possession in the second half, but they didn't create any anything really. But there's some more really, really good interplay. Patrick Roberts was very disappointing today. And so was Callum McGregor. They were two really, really good players. They were really, really standout against Lincoln Red Imps during the week. But they didn't look very at it today against a really, really good Leicester team. Which contained Wes Morgan, as I said. Riyad Mahrez, who played really, really well until he came off. Danny Drinkwater was in there. And yeah, as we're closing to penalties. Okazaki had a great chance. He headed it just over the bar. But that was the final effort of the game. They went to Pens. And Ali Archefti scored for Celtic. Christian Fuchs then scored for Leicester. Stefan Johansson then scored for Celtic. Wasikeski scored for Leicester. Scott Allen scored for Celtic. Danny Drinkwater scored for Leicester. Owen O'Connell scored for Celtic. Ryan, Ryan Christie scored for Celtic. Chigwell scored for Cel Leicester. Sorry. Okazaki scored for Leicester. Then Forrest missed the vital penalty. It's a good save by Schmeichel. And then Atamendi, Atameli, I think his name is, I can't pronounce his name. But he scored the vital penalty that won Leicester the game and the points. But overall, I thought it was a really, really good game. Good warm up for Celtic kick going into the game against Astana on Wednesday in the Champions League qualifier. It could be really, really tough um, opposition. Obviously, transfer news as well. I might make a second video on that actually, but yeah, I might as well, actually I'll just talk about it on this video brief. Colo Torre is joining Celtic, I'm absolutely delighted, the transfer is going to go through tomorrow, free agent obviously, the 35 year old, uh, 27 year old sorry, ex Manchester City and Arsenal and Liverpool man, won the Premier League title with both City and Arsenal, I think he's going to be great, I think he's better than F.E. Ambrose, and Dead Boato are just jokes of defenders, to be honest. So he's a perfect sign that we need. Also, human rumours about Sot Sinclair possibly signing on Monday. Not sure if that's true. And I know Celtic are looking at the young Turkish left back as well. So I think Torai bring experience. I think he'll bring leadership. I think he'll bring a lot of pride as well. And he's looking forward to it. He said in an interview today, he can't wait to play for the club. So, so yeah, looks like Celtic is going to sign their second man in the transfer window. It looks like it's going to be Kolo Torai. So that's something to look forward to. And hopefully he'll play in the friendly against Barcelona next Saturday. He, he, Brendan Rodgers has said that the Astana game, the first day anyway, will be come too early for him. 
which is understandable because obviously he hasn't played for a few months since the Europa League final when Liverpool lost to Sevilla. But yeah, great signing. Really, really looking forward to that. So we'll have to wait and see. But that's just a quick review on the Leicester versus Celtic Champions Cup game, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions below. And please like and subscribe. But until next time, pardon me, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all very soon. But until then, peace out.